Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what is most obviously very crucially important. Today on This Is Important... Evidently, he bit a man's finger off. I was like, dude, I'm gonna put some cologne on my dick, bro. Oh man, this guy was docking with his dad. Let's go! Red leather, yellow, yellow leather, leather, red, red leather, 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 yellow, yellow leather. leather. Red leather, leather yellow, yellow leather. leather. A leather. big brown bug bit a big brown bear. A big brown bug bit a big brown bear. What aluminum did- linoleum, <laughs> aluminum linoleum, <laughs> aluminum linoleum, yum, 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 yum. What a to do to die today at a minute or two to two. A distinctly <laughs> difficult thing to say, but harder still to do. Dude. And there'll be a tattoo oh. and a rat oh, tattoo and a rat tattoo and the dragon will come when he hears the drum at a minute or two to the two dragon will today come? at a minute or two to two. You made that one up, dude. I've never heard. Wow, that, that was that off the top up. of the dome? Yeah, that was a freestyle, Ooh, bro. Damn, damn, freestyle. Let's go! Drama, <laughs> drama exercises. Yeah, Let's brother. go! You know what it is, drama theater major. Mm-hmm. So much drama. Beep, 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 beep. So you were a theater major, right, Blake? I was a theater major. A theater major. <laughs> theater major. Uh, yeah, Fucking I'm good with my diction. Sucks. Fucking thing sucks. We my just mouth. worked. We just worked. I just worked it out, dude. I know. I've I. I'm at the tail end of a long day. Lots of stunts happening on on my movie set today. Really? I'm diving in armored trucks. Money's flying everywhere. Machine Hell gun yeah. fires. Are we, are we on wires? Are we on wires? <laughs> No, I, I'm on wires tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I have, a, I have a whole, I have a whole sky. Di- I dive out of a plane tomorrow right. with the yeah! one and only Pierce Brosnan attached to my backside. Oh God, the That's man. Tight. That is so cool. So I know I'm just gonna be smelling good all day. The man smells good. You get to have There's him. No sh- doubt in my mind. Yeah. No, he smells there, terrific. Without I- a doubt, he's. I mean, I, I, sm- I smell the man every day. I, right. I, I, when, when he walks past, does I, he know that? No, yeah. and he, and I hope he never he won't he won't, will not listen to this podcast. That's a no. guarantee. There is absolutely no way. Zero he possibility this that Pierce will will hear this. Sheep but shag he, is the podcast. <laughs> when he walks, uh, the sheep shag is podcast. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, when he walks past, it's like you just there's like a waft that follows him. Right, you're just like, whoo, pizza, boy. Pizza. And, and yeah. here's my question. Is it like a natural pheromone? Is it yeah. a very expensive cologne? Or is it just some throwback shit from when he was a young uh, lad? It could just be Stetson lad, for all you. I fucking know. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't think he's not like hosed with it. You're not just like, it's not overpowering. Oh, I'm not when saying, you see, I'm like, just asking, what is it? Hey, no, no, you're coming at Pierce like he stinks, like it's pizza, too pizza. smelly, dude. He smells I'm saying like it's you're, you're turning this into something and you can continue, but the question is. Does it smell expensive? Stuff. Is it natural? Uh, or do you think it's a throwback from when he was a young guy? It's not natural. It's not a, like a, It's not like his bo. Supernatural. It might be supernatural. <laughs> it might be alien jizz no. that he's hosed himself with. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, whatever it is, ask him. It's out my price range. <laughs> right. Ask him. Yeah, I don't hey, know. That's a double oh seven cent. Have you seen those insane Versace cologne commercials where it's like a guy super cut, butt naked in like a speedo thing, oh, crawling nice. out, All and right. then he like throws Blake a thunderbolt? It's Blake's like favorite. the worst production ever, and then it goes Versace, like the most expensive cologne, and you're just like, they don't have a bad, better commercial guy. No, that's how they make their money. They don't spend oh. any. <laughs> uh, Miley Cyrus has like it's like a Gucci commercial right now. It's a Gucci really? uh, perfume commercial. Is it a bad that, commercial? Yeah, it's kind of bad. And it's just What's her like, <laughs> like being all funky and there's just like, it, it just looks like, you know those necklaces that are really popular right now that like Harry Styles <laughs> wears? Oh, like where they have like all the trinkets all, on them and yeah, shit? Yeah, there's a ton. It, it looks like that come to life as a commercial. That for oh. sure was on their vision board when they made this commercial. There's huh. just like spinning daisies and shit, fly, and shit flying all over the place. Huh. Uh, and then it's a Gucci commercial. Is it because they don't do commercials? And so they're like, hey, we're going to do one. And then they're like, Ooh, fuck. What do we do? What do we do? Or do they hire like artists to like yeah, take I'm a shot like, at it? That? And What's then it's so, so different right and weird. Now. I can't handle it because I'm so normal. Yeah, you're normcore. You're so, I would say you're normcore, Durs. I would say that's your, your fashion style. Yeah. yeah. 
You're freaking yeah. normcore as hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is the graphics kind of like, is it like throwback, like 3D computer graphics? Like, Dude, I don't know. I saw it once, and admittedly, I was pretty stoned. <laughs> I just remember thinking, like, this is a lot. And then when I saw that it was Gucci, I was like, say You went what? and put your jacket on? <laughs> I went and tried okay. my jacket on. <laughs> in, the, in the house. Damn. I do have it here. I brought it to Atlanta. I wore it one time. Oh, nice! I wore my Gucci jacket out once. I I went to a a fancy restaurant. I was like, maybe I strapped this on. No one made fun of me. (laughs) And the people, everyone there, was like, "Why is he wearing a jacket inside? What the (laughs) fuck?" It was chilly. Can I take your coat, sir? No, no, no. 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 Need to see this. (laughs) No, they have to see me in it. Stays on. No. (laughs) Stays on. No. Leave it be. So did did Pierce see you rocking it? And was he like double oh seven? Pierce did. I was. It was at dinner with mm-hmm. Pierce, mm-hmm. and so uh, cool. it wasn't just the two of us. It was like a big cast thing. But right, uh, right. Uh, no, he did not mention it. In fact, uh, didn't mention it at all. <laughs> didn't mm-hmm. even look your direction. No, didn't. <laughs> right. uh, really, he sat at the opposite end of the table. Didn't said, speak to you. There was an empty chair right by me, and he was like, "You know what? <laughs> nah, this guy nah. keeps sniffing me when I walk yeah, past. This fucking right. guy's always smelling my ass." Uh, but, Cologne commercials have gotten like, have they always been super fucking weird? I think they have. Because anyone that's too into scent, inherently you're into some weird shit. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys, have you gone, do you wear cologne? Have you gone through a phase? Are you anti cologne? Let's oh, go there. Great there's, call. There's, this is a hot, for, hot topic. He's dude. the Larry King uh, interviewer of, of the crew. He's a, he always has like a lot cologne, of questions. Cologne, good, bad. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Go. That shit's important. <laughs> uh, hey, R.I.P. What was that's the- another thing I hate is when uh, Facebook. I'm into things I hate now, guys. Uh, nice, dude. Get it. On, Get it off on your Facebook. Chest. Yeah. When no more people cologne go, talk. Well, no. When pe- no, we're going back to cologne <laughs> yeah, talk. We'll get back, like, sirs. We won't let that go away. But like, hey guys, what's what's your favorite cologne? Go. Mm. <laughs> and then you have to like listen to con- like they're putting it on you uh, to like go like. Hey, right. what's the best orthopedic surgeon in the area? Go. Right, right. You're like, just fucking ask. You don't need to fucking scream at me at the end of this comment. Let's go. Yeah. I so, mean. That being said, I f- fucked fuck with it. some cool water <laughs> back in the day, dude. Uh-huh. What color was that bottle? Was it blue? Yeah, it was like a bluish green, if mm-hmm. I remember correctly. Mm. It was like a teal, sort of. Right. I right. remember. What, what was the polo one that came in the green bottle and had a gold top? Probably Polo. Polo. Yeah, my guess is there Polo we go. Since you just yeah. said it. Uh, <laughs> Dumbass. Well, well, Cool Water, uh, I remember they said Cool Water Cologne. I remember specifically it was like ninth, eighth, ninth into 10th grade. I mm-hmm. fucked with it. Really? Uh, because they said that it re- it like attracted or released pheromones. I don't know okay. what the fuck pheromones are. Attracted but it, pheromones is tough. Yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> attracted the pheromones. Just animals were following you? Like, uh, <laughs> so no, so it was like, Ace it, Ventura? It, like girls thought uh, that, that it would like turn girls on and get them all, uh, you know, juicy. Right. So, Do I make you horny, buddy? So I, I was like, I just bathed myself in it. I fucking stunk, dude. Unlike right. Pierce. He has oh, the perfect man. amount. Right. Yeah, I remember one time when I was a little kid, I had just gotten out of the shower, and I I nice. thought it was um Mm-mm. how little a good idea to put. Uh, yeah, dude. Maybe Ew. I was like twelve. Okay. Okay, then it's cool. Then it's fine. <laughs> and I th- I was like, dude, I'm gonna put some cologne on my dick, bro. Make my dick <laughs> smell good. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'm <laughs> listening. Yeah. Is this what they call you, fetus boy? Go ahead. Yeah, definitely got inside my penis yeah. and it hurts so bad, dude. Like in your urethra? Yeah, dude. Yeah, he poured it down the D hole. That old trick. Yeah, I poured it. I, I glug, 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 glug. He's like, I want to, my piss <laughs> smells funny. I want it to smell better. I'll just yeah. do this. Man. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. I do remember going to like, uh, like dances in middle school and like gearing up with hella aftershave yeah. for my pops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, straight up Home Alone style. I yeah, did that brute. with aftershave. I was like, I tried to uh, uh, shave, mm-hmm. obviously, when I was mm-hmm. a kid. And uh, how'd it go? It just cut. I cut my hand. I don't even know what? how that happened. <laughs> yeah, I cut my hand. It what were you using? It just my my a grandfather's <laughs> like uh, old style like razor. Straight razor. So it's not straight a straight razor, razor oh. but it's like an, the old like giant thick one. And so I, I think I just grabbed it like an asshole. A little bic. And uh, <laughs> slit my hand open. A big old thick one. I grabbed it like an asshole. <laughs> but then I always saw uh, <laughs> I always saw my grandfather put aftershave on afterwards, and I thought that's 
what I should do uh, with the wound. Oh, yeah. so you just kind of because I because I was like I saw him like scrape his neck and he'd have like little and he'd put aftershave on it right. and I'm like okay that's what I do so I poured it all over my hand burnt so fucking bad yeah. and then I like am trying to dry it off and I'm drying it down the front of myself and mm -mm. I rub it all over my cock mm -hmm. the exact opposite <laughs> thing you're supposed to do and then <laughs> well, now my hand now I've got a bloody cock right. and my hands all bloody and I'm screaming bloody you murder lose. and my mom and grandma come running in like what is going on in here yeah I feel like you're using this podcast to kind of reiterate lies you told as a youngster so that like when your folks listen to the podcast, well, what, they'll be what do like, you think? huh, I guess he wasn't lying about that time. We caught him jacking off with his own blood No, moisture. I was too young. I was too young. I was 14, dude. I was, How old? What? I heard teen. What'd you say? Uh-huh. No. I, I, no, I was like six or something. I was like, like a true little kid. Mm-hmm. You were six, and you cut yourself, and you got your six or seven or eight in that range. I don't know. That must have been the most terrifying thing. Your mom ran in while your cock was bloody, dude. But I'm six years old. I was like, I don't give a shit if wait, no dick. I was butt naked. I just, I just got out of the. <laughs> oh, I thought you had like pants on the b bathtub or whatever. I just like just gotten, and I was like the fucking I saw bathtub. My, and my you... dad and and grand right. and grandfather uh, shave, and then put yeah. aftershave on, and I'm like, well, guess what? I'm a man. I'm a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you are. Hit him. Uh, I'm gonna shave. <laughs> hit him. Hit me with it. Hit I'm me with it, Blake. Blake. I'm a man. Thank you. I'm a man. And so I was like, I'm gonna shave and do this whole thing, and it, it fucking backfired. So I understand mm -hmm. where you're coming from, Blake, about after shave burning the d hole. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> I do. I'm a man. Skip. I. I don't think I rocked any in high school, but then in college, I think I might have gotten like. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got a chunker. CKB for free with like a purchase. He chunked out. Oh god, it's down oh, to two. This is the, not. Oh good. really? And then there were two. <laughs> this is not good. Dude, this is really oh. good. Finally, I have you alone. Yeah. So what's up? Finally, dude? come on. <laughs> Hey, Come on. Okay, you're oh, back. He's you're back. back. Yes. He's back. Oh, God. Adam was about to say some weird Fuck. shit to me. I Thank don't know. God. I, I could hear like, you guys I the whole time. No, this reminds oh, me of could? when we were roommates, and I loved hanging out with you, and you were pretty over it. That's, Do you love that's him? What, that's what that reminded me of right there. <laughs> Blake immediately was ready to bail. Do you <laughs> love him? Uh, did you hear any of it? Because I poured No, were you out. about to tell us? Were you about to tell us your favorite cologne? It, well, I please say it's the Michael Jordan cologne. Please. I, I was going to say that I got like a free thing of CKB when I like bought something at a department store in college. Ooh. What is CKB? It was like, well, there was CK1, which came out and had like yeah, a nice Yeah, I remember run. that yeah. shit. And that then shit CKB came in like a black bottle. Um, oh, shit. Oh. Elevated. Yeah. Elevated lifestyles. And it didn't smell Ooh. good. I remember finding it like 10 years ago and it was like, this, this is horrible. Um, yeah, cologne. I, I, had, I had a little thing of Christian Dior that I think Emma got me at some point that smelled real good, but I don't rock damn. with I don't rock with it at all. I don't think any of us do, do we? Are we we're a natural pheromone boy crew. I feel like deodorant and you're good. You're good to go. No, dude, it was all about the membered body spray. I feel like none of us are stinky, you know? Right. So you're an axe body spray guy? You're a you're an axe boy. You're a bod man. I mean, I try I tried to for a little bit, right? Didn't you guys? You guys never had a little stint with body spray? Gel deodorant. Mm, it was hot. It was new. <laughs> uh, no, my mom would for like years when I was living with you, Blake. She'd get me like axe and put it as like a stocking stuffer. Yeah. And so like I'd get every time I'd come home for Christmas, I'd just have like a ton of That's winter right. fresh gum. Right. And all the axe I could handle for like a, a solid six months. What a hint! Your mom was like, y "You smell here." No, no, I. <laughs> yeah, for sure, I'm not without a, a doubt. I'm not a smelly guy, dude. I don't think any of us are that smelly. Nah. Mm -mm. Nah. Yeah, I think I think we lost our <laughs> smelliest member. Yeah, I feel like the three of us are 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 pretty a okay with it. With our powers combined, couldn't reach his heights. The the big stink is gone. The big stink. I'm getting stinkier. Are you? <laughs> I'm getting you think stinkier. So? I think so. Yeah, like my feet are starting to kind of smell. It's mm -hmm. bad. Probably could yeah. just got to. I don't know. That's because you. Uh, and it's because you run and then don't shower right away, or what is that? Yeah, I don't know. Why do we? Why do feet start to stink later in life? I don't understand. I think I just. Ex it's not later in life. 
It's you not later think, in life. Well, it's how you're feet get gnarlier. When you see like your dad's foot suddenly at an older age, you're like, is that dude, what's going to happen? My feet are, I'm missing toes, dude. My <laughs> yeah. feet are g- gross. <laughs> yeah. My feet are legit yucko. I meant to say when I see your feet, I go, yeah. oh, <laughs> your feet are, are Oh, my kids are going to be truly terrified. But like toenails get yellow and crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucked up. My shit's all yellow. Yeah, my shits. My uh, the it's uh, it's like peeling back the nails. Maybe you could make it like cool. Revolting. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm like it's way it's way. I'm a giant person. It's way down there. Dude. Yeah, why do people give such a shit about feet? Like they get so grossed out by them and shit. I don't really fucking care. Like it's just feet. I don't get that either. You know what's? Let me get this off my fucking chest. I, when um do it Chad, when Chad Bozeman died, right? Yep. Uh huh. I th- and I threw on Black Panther to watch it with my son, mm-hmm. and I never post pictures of my kids. It's just I don't know. I just don't do it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I posted the TV of us watching um, Black Panther with both of our feet like on the on or the the coffee table or whatever. Mm-hmm. So you could be like, I'm watching it with my kid, like Chadwick Boseman, R.I.P. Like, you know, I'm I'm, yeah. s- I'm sharing his his movies with my kid. Yeah. I feel like the dude was a, a good guy and made some cool shit. And people were like, ugh. And people go, you put a fucking picture of your feet in there? I'm like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I was trying oh, to yeah, show you that I'm more. sharing this with my kid who I never post about, but all right. Yeah, man. Get your fucking stupid ugh. feet off my feet. By the way, my feet? My feet? Beautiful. <laughs> my kid's feet? Splendid. Well, I, but that's probably why they were weirded out. They were like, oh, now there's going to be... Too sexual. It's too sexual, yeah. I, I can't help but jerk off at this now when I was sad about Chadwick Boseman, but right, then right. your sexy-ass feet get in the frame. See, this yeah. is why I got to bring it up with you guys, because you sort it out. Yeah, it's it's mixed messages. You're getting people horny, you're getting people pissed. Feet are just a very dividing subject, really. Mm-hmm. Some people want to fuck them, and some people want to puke. I hate my life. <laughs> oh man, I think I'm chunking. I hate my life. <laughs> Where are you at right now, Jersey? Oh, Uh-oh, no. we lost oh, no. him. He's a chunker. No, I'm, man. Feel, I'm I'm what? here. I'm here. No. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you now you are. Yeah. You you just Fucking froze, looking sucks. so like indignant towards us. You were just like, <laughs> yeah. Like I, uh, I thought these, you quit the pod. These guys. I love this. Like, we should clarify. I'm in my garage because yeah. This is so fucking. Dumb. You got kicked out of your office. It became like a child's play zone or something. We had the uh, the tree. This I'm a girl. I'm 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 a man. I'm forty. Uh, <laughs> had the tree trimmers come today, so they were like yeah. using the wood chipper <laughs> I, I outside my office. Nice. I go, all right. I guess I'll just drag the whole thing into my garage. Welcome to my garage. Uh, nice. I'm chunking. Pretty sick yeah. setup. As yeah, you got soon, killer shit. As soon as we got on, the guy rings the doorbell. I was like, we're done. We're gonna pack up. We'll see you later. I'm like. <laughs> I just dragged my whole thing in here. Not that that's much, but let's let's fucking go. Let's see what you got let's here. Go. You got, let's you got, go. You've got um. Let's go. Is that a uh uh? What is that a? You got fucking, a row machine. That's you a, got that's a, a, a treadmill. Ergata rowing machine. Can't recommend Ergata. it highly enough. What does it's that so mean? Tight. What is what does that word mean? It's a water rower that has this um, what they call gamification. It's got a screen like a Peloton kind of thing, but instead of being Ooh. shouted at by somebody who you're like. On a scale of one to ten, these people are one thousand percent annoying. Um, mm-hmm. And I don't know if I did that right, but uh, <laughs> it's kind of just video games that make you increase your stroke yeah, tempo, your effort. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And yeah. does it keep track of like what you do so you could beat your own score? And exactly, kind of and you and you race people, and it's not like um, Peloton. If you do a Peloton at home, like where you're kind of like racing, but like for some reason, some people are so much further ahead of you right out of the gate, but like. It doesn't do it correctly. Dude, first of all, I ride bikes all the time. Yeah. We know this. I won't shut up we about it. We know this. Mm-hmm. I'm never even, uh, I, I, I don't do the classes, but I do like yeah. the, the the other ride. Right. And I'm like, I'm never even close to in the top Winning. like 100. Right. Well, there I'm are like, freak athletes out there that are just killing yeah, it, dude. dude. But have you seen these thighs? Their whole life. I've seen them. I've seen yeah. them. Enough. I've seen them too seen much. Them. Seen okay. the feet. Uh, seen the thighs. It's all. But the, fuck. this sh- this lets you race the person that has like they're actually like when they were fast here and slower later, as opposed to like their average pace for the time that they went, which is what they do on Peloton, and I hate that shit. 
what it was. Um, yeah. I've never done Rui. a Peloton. I anyway. thought what, what people just like it because you race each other in real time. Well, you can do real time classes or like banked classes, and then and there's tons of tons of classes. Yeah. So right. like, if you like taking spin classes, go for it. And if you and as far as just a uh, just like a stationary bike. It's mm -hmm. a great stationary bike. It's well. very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you, uh, well, uh, yeah, so real quick on Peloton. Did you hear the drama <laughs> about the, no. the, um, Sex and oh, the yeah. City remake where they're what like, what was that? Yeah. The oh. guy died and Peloton's like trying to clown him. It's, it's so yeah. stupid. No, it was like their stock fell by like 10 per 15% or something. What? Right. Or more than that. I don't know. A yeah. thousand? What? Is that a number? Yeah. Why? What? Because uh, Mr. Big, Big like died. Dies. He had a heart attack on it, and I think Peloton their first statement was like, "Well, he must have not had a healthy lifestyle." And then when shit really started to hit the fan, they were like, "That's why nobody watched that dumbass show." Whoa! <laughs> uh, <laughs> they got Shots him, fired. bro. Yeah, their stock fell by eleven percent. That's like Holy a lot. Shit! For, you know, I don't know. I'm not like a, a money guy, but that seems like a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, if you if you are big into Peloton stock, what? right? That seems really fucked up. They must be fucking pissed. By the way, Mister Big, how old is that guy? I don't know, cause I I also saw you you could you could die doing anything. Hey, if your name if your name is Mister Big, yeah, like you know, maybe ease into the Peloton class. Maybe don't go all out right yep. away. Your yep. heart might explode. Right. Well, he but also is it Mister Big because of his cock? Is my guess? Is that what they're? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's I, a, is it? All right. Oh God, I bet that Has show kicks ass. I have never watched Sex in the oh, City. Oh, you have never seen it? it is, never, it's, I've it's, never it's, seen I, it either. Oh, it's pretty good. Uh, Chloe was on a spinoff show called The Carrie Diaries, which was about them, uh, Carrie as like a young girl mm -hmm. and in the 80s or whatever. Nice. And uh, yeah, so I ended up watching all of Carrie Diaries and then a little bit of Sex in the City to, to kind of get a grasp of the characters. I and love I, it. I dug it, dude. I dug it. Oh, uh, look at you go, go off. Yeah, it's like, it's like, I mean, it was a hit, dude. It's basically entourage for women. Uh, you know how much I fuck with Entourage, dude. So it rules. I love that. <laughs> it was. It's like like dirty and shit, right? Like it, I guess I just gotta fucking watch it. People love it. Yeah, it definitely dirty. is frozen again in the weirdest <laughs> face. Dude, oh man, I was about to take a photo of you being frozen because you, you looked can... like you were fucking jizzing your pants, my friend. God. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, we we're yeah. talking sex uh -oh. in the city. You know what? I might have been jizzing uh -oh. my pants. Because of this specialized e-bike that you can see behind me, <laughs> what a blast! I jizz every time I'm on it, dude. I, I love I love that bike. Yeah, we got to shout out uh, specialized more often because uh, we shout them out a lot, all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> Brought Grand to Slam. By specialized, great job, specialized. Should on we that just bike. start dogging out Trek and be like, Yo, "Fuck you, Trek! Trek sucks. <laughs> Trek Damn, sucks, fuck dude. Trek, dude. All yeah. my homies hate Trek." Yeah. <laughs> we love Shrek. We hate Trek. Yeah, up with yeah, Shrek. That's down a, with Shrek. And then what is this arch. other machine that you have uh, over your yeah. left shoulder here? Yeah, yeah. Jeez, man, uh, you've that, got a whole fucking training facility, dude. Mm -hmm. That's an assault. Why aren't runner? you super in shape? What the fuck? I have what you might no. call the body you get when you eat absolutely anything and everything, but then you work yes. out too. See, um, good, Durs, like but that. you. Uh, Durs was a collegiate athlete, so your muscle, the muscle memory, it snaps back quicker. See, mm -hmm. I was just kind of a, a f like a chubby stoner, yeah. so I never your had, I didn't have that base <laughs> because right. I eat better than you do, definitely. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. And then work out a similar amount, I would say. Yeah. Uh, and yet I see you without a shirt, and uh, you, you look, I, I'll say you look sexier, dude. Thank you. You look <laughs> really you, sexy. Man. I mean, You're not that guy, pal. Trust the me. holidays have not been kind to me. Um, How them tits? The, the issue with you is I gain it in my and like my little belly. <laughs> Your boobs uh, are huge. You just grow <laughs> giant titties. Why well, are they? Are they sprucing up for the holidays? Let's just say today I was doing a, a bunch of double unders uh, with the jump rope. Yeah, and I might have to post a video of how they shake. 
Your boobs are huge. It, it is out of control. You legit, your boobs legit bounce. Well, no, it's more like you know when you uh, you go to the, like a grocery store and you get that little twenty five cent egg that you open and it's got the little hand that you fly back and forth, the yeah. rubber one. Yeah, the okay, sticky sure. hand. Yeah, the elasticity stuff. of yeah. my titties goes like that. It's like <laughs> foof, 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 oh, so that's foof, actually you're gonna be one of those old guys that. Like, uh, will be pretty in shape, but then just uh, they'll wear a t-shirt, and you could tell that their tits are just sagging. <laughs> oh no, yeah. your getting, boobs are huge. I'm going under the knife. You're, go for you're gonna sure. have you're gonna have Ric Flair titties. Damn. No, well, no, no, yeah, no, no, it's no. like it's like bodybuilders all have that when they get old, yeah, their titties no. sag. They they're, there's just I'm gonna too get much. a lift. I'll probably you're get gonna a lift. get a boob lift. Yeah, I can or, see that. Or a, for a cool sculpt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just freeze the yeah. fat? You know, I'll figure something that's out. That's wild. I believe that. I could that's see that for be you. That's going to be sweet. Know? But yeah, that's a that's an assault runner. Um, assault got, runner? That sounds cool as fuck. Assault runner, yeah. Uh, it's a treadmill that you... Not not assault runner. What? Yeah, like running... Ass assault, not not salt. Yeah, like like you you've uh, uh you've beaten someone up <laughs> you abuse yeah you're be you're abusing the run your body <laughs> uh which i got during last year when there was like the fires and you couldn't go running outside so oh. you know we we got some runners in this house and uh Where did you go uh we got it for indoors so that uh you know you didn't you have do, to miss a run don't miss a oh. run oh. And, and so, and I got and, a free assault bike because that was the promo they were running. And if you know God, what an assault dude. bike is, brutal. it's fucking is brutal. This is what you got all this stuff. I'm jelly. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm turn. mad jelly. This dude, thing, this is fun. This is your holy. Oh yeah. Oh, so dude. what? That just like has like where you move your arms at the same time. Yeah. Yes. Arms and yeah. It, it is. It is a heart rate brutal. spiker like nothing else. Out yeah, there? Mr. Big's heart would definitely yeah, explode he on would be the assault bike as a way before sure. the peloton. Yeah. If I was Damn. Pit, uh assault bike should tweet out like Mr. Big don't even come near us. Right. Yeah. Your Unless heart you would die. shatter in a thousand pieces. Your, and your big dick couldn't take yeah, it, bro. By the way, it's, all the cock would rush right out of your big dick and the into heart, your heart, and it would it it would explode. The heart was for sure already under stress from the decades of having to to pump that giant cock with blood. Yeah, right. Yeah. Who I mean, that's, that, that's going to be the next episode is the girl sitting around in the doctor office. Well, it's a movie. I th is, yeah, is it a movie or is it a TV show? I thought it was a new season. A miniseries? I think it's like a, we're doing a few episodes of uh, okay, okay. this. So the next one's going to be like, well, uh, it looks like just too much blood was pumping into his huge cock and he just died. Right. They got to get you in the room. <laughs> Dude, Blake should help write this. Uh, I would I'd go love in the, to I'd write. go in that writer's room for a week or so. Yeah, just, without just throw some ideas around. That'd be without fun. knowing anything about the characters or the show at all, and just kind of go in there and add my cool cock jokes. Uh huh. <laughs> I, I'm chunking. I know. <laughs> you froze, right? <laughs> I know. It, can you hear me now or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we hear can. you. Yeah. It's just show sex in the city. Sex in the city, baby. And it's sex and the city, correct? Not in the city? Sex I thought it was in I thought that's, it was in the city. No, no. that's that's yeah, they gotta Caroline get you in the room. In the city? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're thinking of Caroline in the city, arguably better. Which I <laughs> loved her. <laughs> She's the one who got her eyes lasered and got all fucked up, right? Who's that? Caroline uh, Ray. Caroline Ray. She she fucked her eyes up? No, she that, got eyes lasered and Caroline Caroline in the city, wasn't that uh uh, that was um, Zoe Dorch's mom. No, that is uh, the girl from. Uh, yeah, I met Back her. To the once. Future. Back, Back to the future. future. Her name isn't Caroline Ray. I'm not saying that is her name. I thought Caroline in the city <laughs> was Caroline Ray, the stand-up comedian. Goodbye. I have no, no idea. I have no God. idea. I'm so glad I didn't chunk during that. I, I had a point to get out there. Here, what's happening here? <laughs> but no Kim Cattrall. What is the backstory there? Why oh, yeah. no Kim Cattrall? Why don't hey, they she like hates her? Them. Let me say she this. She, I just she worked with Kim. I'm team Kim. Yeah, really? We like Kim. She was a sweetheart. Really? She was so nice. I showed her. First of all, I stalked her because I was like, we got to talk Big Trouble in Little China. And she was so cool. Yeah. Oh, um, hell yes. I didn't even get into Police I could, Academy. I could see her being oh. way cool. I could see her being... She's great. Super, super Dude, dope. you know, remember that YouTube video of her? You guys got to look this up, uh, TII Nation. It's this old YouTube video of her doing like scat, like sided away. She's like. Oh, yeah. And she killed, <laughs> and she killed it. It's so funny, dude. It's so funny. 
She's like uh, the the he dogs and she dogs. It's really good. Hey, all all I know is what is this from? It's just like a YouTube clip from like she did like a I want to say it was like a workout video or like a yoga video. Uh -huh. I love it. And yeah. then she just starts scatting and it's so bizarre. Hubaloo. You, I mean, you're acting like Hubbaloo. you've never done that. You've never just been <laughs> exercising and been like get down. Hubba, Hubbaloo. Hubbaloo. It's Sweet so up. good. We, uh, the fact that we style. don't have a a workout, yeah. a series of workout videos, the three oh, of man. us. That would be. Well, I really right. wanted. I I I remember when we were doing workaholics and uh, I was doing all the demand camp stuff, and that was kind of my runner through the series. Mm -hmm. uh, where I in, on the show workaholics, I did demand camp volume swole and would was constantly <laughs> wanting to put out right. these uh, series of workout videos. Right. Um, and you know there were very there were never any good. And uh, but I was like, we should. Comedy Central mm -hmm. teams up with fucking Puma or Adidas or someone, and then I actually put out Hell a yeah. series of funny workout videos. Right. And I was like, that'd Sketchers. be great. That'd be Where fun. Everyone is in better shape than you are, like the <laughs> people behind you. And you're like, okay, let's do this. And you're exhausted. <laughs> They're shredded. And I'm the one yelling at them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm constantly out of breath. And I'm wearing Come a on. belly t shirt. My little belly's flapping in the wind. We can mm -hmm. get something that uh, accentuates your titties. Instead of muscle confusion, <laughs> you're just, you get hella just right. Regular confused. I'm just I'm re regular <laughs> confused. <laughs> regular confused. confusion. Wait, how do you do this one again? It doesn't See? matter. Just move fast. We're just talking mind tires. confusion. <laughs> this is total total body mind confusion. No idea what I'm doing out here. So rumor has it Sarah Jessica Parker and Kim Cattrall. <laughs> okay, they here's don't some like tea. Here's, Here's hey, some tea. Hey guys, sip you some tea. TII Nation. T it's hey. tea time, TII Nation. Hey community, get mm. your little teacups out. Because <laughs> we're about to go log, go log. Oh, look at that sound effects. I don't know if you could hear that, but that's tea. <laughs> that was tea. Hold all over myself. Oh boy. <laughs> all over myself. Hold up. <laughs> He's on one. Uh, no, rumor has it, Sarah Jessica Parker, kick a trail. They don't like each other. Hey, you know uh -huh. where, you know where I stand. Pour the tea. Pour the tea. Pour the pour tea. The tea. <laughs> pour the tea. Oh, boy. That's not okay. Rumor has it. Rumor. They don't, they, like, each they other. don't like each other. This has got to be a weekly segment. <laughs> sipping tea. Sipping tea. T I. With Adam. Hey, sipping tea with Adam D. <laughs> You're a stupid dumbass. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, and that's all the information we have about uh, them, that's it? them like not liking each other. Maybe I don't know. That's and it. that's all I got. And that's all I got. <laughs> You've got the scoop from two weeks ago, <laughs> and this airs in three weeks. Awesome. Yeah, some hot tea. <laughs> Technically, oh. we're we're, we're getting a little tea. bit ahead of the game because we got a little bit of free time uh, right now before the mm -hmm. holidays. So we're fabulous out, furry free time. Mm -hmm. That was for free time. I'm Give him the tea. Uh. But the, technically, this is our New Year's episode, correct, Blakey? Um, it, we're we won't be in the year 2022 in yet. I think this will air on maybe the 28th of December, okay. so we're close. So you guys have sick ass plans for uh, your New Year's? What's going on? Do you guys uh, know what you're doing? <laughs> I'm gonna be home, bro. Freaking party, daddy! Dude, with uh, these freaking fucking party, trees trimmed. Daddy. Yeah, dude. Now that the trees are trimmed, oh, we can boy. really hit it. I'm going to be in my front lawn just sipping tea, waving at neighbors. Yeah, nice, buddy. Dude. Banging pots and pans. I don't know. what. I haven't done something for New Year's in a while. It's kind of a... I kind of hate New Year's. New Year's yeah, is like kind of always a rookie. such a... Yeah. I'm it's like... a rookie night. I don't know why everyone's expectations are always so high. Because every <laughs> year, everyone goes... It's not good. Blake is such a pro when it comes to being an alcoholic. So. Dude, I, no, I no, the, that is totally it. With New Year's, it's so much pressure to have fun. I yeah, get so right. worked but, up. But but, it, but we we are now like post everyone expecting it to be good. Like everyone always talks about how shitty it is. So I don't understand why we don't just lower the expectations. Lower the well, expectations. See, you want an awesome party where it like I feel New Year's is the one. I never want to wear a suit or get dressed up. Like, n literally never. I, sure. do, I really want to do that. Yeah. Uh, except like for New funeral. Year's. If New Year's Eve, yeah. there was like a big fucking Gatsby ball and everybody yeah, was... 
Everybody Go wore off. fucking uh-huh. little masks and wore tuxedos and beautiful gowns. And then we went this to is a like a beautiful palace <laughs> yeah. and fucked each other. Uh-huh. That would be a that? dream. Ripping in the terror. <laughs> a dream New Year's. Yeah, yeah. but that not- <laughs> never goes down. It never goes down. I never get the invite. Yeah. Sword to me huh. in a raven's mouth. That's, yeah. I never get that. So yeah. what's the point? What's the Maybe point of even trying? We're just not doing New Year's right. We need to get all like dressed in gold, wear masks, go in a room with each other, and well, I didn't kind say of just gold. fuck. Yeah, Dude, I didn't say gold. But I like that's where, where you, going that's where you lost me. No, that's what you're supposed to do on New Year's is wear gold. Isn't that like a whole thing? Gold? Wear gold. Why gold? Yeah, I, I think don't it's know what he's like talking thing. about. What the fuck really? are you talking about, Blake? No, I think you're supposed to wear gold. Adam on New hit Year's. him. Fuck you, Blake. <laughs> Assault uh, Adam. Uh... Shut the fuck up! I've never heard that you wear gold on New Year's. Maybe that's like a. Maybe that was just my grandma, and I just figured it was a real she, thing. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah, amazing when parents, when parents could, or parents or grandparents would just tell you something as a kid, and you're mm-hmm. just like, yeah, sure. I guess that is a fact. I'll There's think no- about that till I'm forty. Yeah. What is it with uh, like grandmas wearing purple hats? Is that a thing? Am I? Stop. Am I making? Just did you? Yeah. What Stop. do you mean? No, did you have like a cool black grandmother that was taking you to church or something? Yeah. Did you no. have a grandmother that worked at the Kentucky Derby? <laughs> she, Who she was your grandmother? At the circus. Uh huh. <laughs> no, there's a thing like there's this club of grandmas that all wear like purple hats. That's a real thing, dude. You're it's thinking like of a... Jambi from Pee Wee's Playhouse, dude. I, well, I mean, grandmothers in New Orleans specifically, they like will go drink tea, sipping. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Hit me with that. The tea. They nice. pour the tea on uh, Sundays and then they go and like they drink, they wear their dumbass hats and uh, they go, you know, have fucking. No, guys, I fucked up. I right. fucked up. I fucked up. It's not purple. We, we hat. know. It's, a, it's yeah. a red hat. It's a red hat. It's called the Red Hat Society. And Yo. all the grandmas wear red hats and they wear purple dresses. The red okay. and what is going on? Is this like a the Red Hat Society? It's an international social organiz- <laughs> organization, and it was founded in 1998 in the United States for women age 50 and beyond. But Wait, it's now it was, open to women of all ages. Dude, 1998. That's not even that long ago. Yeah. Like they, they have this secret society. Secret societies are supposed to be like a thousand years old. Dude, and this, this is, is like a new hot new? shit. And and by the way, it's not that secret of a society. There, it's literally there's a website that says join. You don't know about it. It says yeah, join right in the, I, you didn't it's know about society it. dot whatever <laughs> mono, montanton <laughs> dot com. Dude, and listen it, to these activities. Both right. red and pink hatters often wear very elaborate decorated hats mm. and attention getting fashion ex- oh. accessories, such as feather boa. <laughs> <and> <laughs> The society's events vary depending on the chapter, but common activities among red hatters include mm-hmm. hosting tea parties, playing games, and going yep. to movies. I want to be a grandma. God, I wish I was chunking. Dude, you uh, honestly, you will be a grandmother, dude. <laughs> Can I chunk? <laughs> I you want to chunk? You, you want to chunk out of the red hat society? That shit is cool. They probably get that. fucked up and they play don't. Like, they drink tea and yeah, you don't think. Come on, that tea's got shit in it. Well, the cool ones get, the cool ones go like, it, it's like a church thing, you know? It's, a, it's sort of like when you go to like a church event, you go like, you eye around, you see who mm-hmm. like the cool people are, and mm-hmm. then you go, go like, hey, yo, hey. let's go throw let's rocks go uh, into that, like into that <laughs> right. window over there. Or like, let's, let's go see steal if we can start, cookies from Let's the... go steal cookies. Let's try to start yeah. something on fire. So basically, Right. The Red Hat Society women are doing the same. They're looking around. They're like, yo, Gladys has got that gin yeah. in her purse. Yeah, yeah. I know she does. Mm-hmm. Pour some of that in our tea. Does anybody smoke weed? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> weed smoking grannies, dude. And our Vela's got that that good good on lock. <laughs> yeah. He's rolling up a tight that. one. <laughs> yeah, Freaking bong ripping grannies. It's got to be that. <laughs> you, don't think, you don't think these grandmas get fucking torched, dude? Did your Grandma's- grandmother, uh, was your grand? my grandmother was a fucking party animal. Yeah. Marvella Divine. Mm-hmm. That woman threw down. Mm. Very my, fun. My grandma plays, what fucking card game? She plays it like every bridge? day with her homie. Yeah, she bridge. plays bridge yeah. every day that's with her gra- homies. That's a grandma that's game. That's a grandma sure. card game. And they, they for love, sure they you're for it. sure drinking while you do it, right? It's like sipping wine, playing bridge. So do you the think fuck? when we're old, 
my grandma wasn't sipping wine. She was when we're vodka, bro. Oh, yeah. When yeah. we're yeah. old and we are grandfathers, mm -hmm. uh, do you think we will, like, play card games? I don't. I think we're all going to be... Uh, on a quest yeah. in our yeah. Oculus, in the metaverse, right? We're in back the to metaverse, that. I'm a man. Uh, yeah. Fucking chopping it up, and if we do play cards, it's in the metaverse, right? Absolutely. Because look at us yeah. now. We're the three best friends on a podcast. We're yeah. not in the same room together. I don't want to be in the uh, same room with you guys. No, I prefer your stanky ass, yeah. dude. You're smelling like shit, dude. I smell good as shit. I don't. <laughs> I don't smell like shit. We've established that you're. If anyone's the stinky one, is you. You think you smell like shit now? You're a man. Um, You're a man. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I'll just probably uh, be dead by then. Um, really? You're calling it? No way, dude. Is it real? <laughs> yeah, we've all established 50? that. We've all established that I'm going to be the first one dead. Yeah. I didn't say I. I, I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> oh, so I, you're... I'm sorry. I was talking about someone besides you. <laughs> I was just talking okay. about I'm going to be dead, and you're like, "Whoa, we've Burn! we've established I die first. Okay, you'll be we'll be both dead then. No, I die first. No, I die. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, true. True. Fair Adam's true, true. dead. I was talking about so us as dead. a group. Sure. Uh, do you really think you'll be dead by fifty? Um, man, I don't think so. I think you got no, Durs. You live a very healthy lifestyle. You you don't drink that often, and when you yeah. do, it's a classic binge situation, <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> so it'll be like a tragic. It won't be like a well. There was a lot of lean years. It was uh, like so so. But then you don't like drink. You'll go like a few weeks without drinking, and then you'll have a night out, and you'll go and you'll drink. Right? For sure. Well, yeah. I mean, I drink on the weekends because there's the the pandemic changed everything. Because you're yeah. like, I don't go anywhere, so I might as well just start drinking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, baby! There's you a lot of I mean? good things about the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a and you're like, well, I guess I gotta. It is kind of nice. I remember Blake. What I was talking about, just getting that that couch buzz. Yeah, dude. And uh, getting, yeah, it's a good time. Getting hammered and watching movies is mm -hmm. the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now finding now just, finding your room is like. The, you're like, where's that fucking room? Where, the fucking, where did I keep that? Where did I keep that fucking thing? Upstairs. Oh, first obstacle, stairs. <laughs> hey, bud, could you show me where daddy's room, where I keep daddy's room? Well, you just crawl in your kid's bed, move over. God, that is, I can't their, wait to do that. Move piss over. in their dresser. <laughs> Have you ever have you have you ever done that? My dad my dad did that uh, uh, you know once or twice when I was a kid. Not welcome in mom's room. Yes, yeah. sir. What? <laughs> what? All right. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Well, I told you guys this you're story in your about your jeans, the, dad. I about the time you. that uh, me and my dad always slap box, right? Uh, and so we're yeah, always what the fuck? <laughs> slap boxing each other. Right. And uh, then I was on tour and I did a show in I in uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, which is like right next to Waterloo, Iowa, where mm -hmm. I'm from, where my whole family's from. Mm -hmm. And it was a huge show, one of the biggest shows. Did the water uh, lunatics come out? Oh, dude. oh damn. Yes, we drank them out of alcohol <laughs> halfway through the show. Or not even halfway through, like 15 minutes in the show, they were like out of beer. So the venue had to go buy <laughs> like the 50 more cases of beer. Yeah. Uh, and it was like big, it was like 3,200 seats it. or something. <laughs> And so it was an awesome show, and it went great. And then after the show, we went out, we went drinking. It was very fun. All my dad's friends were there. And then we're going back to the hotel, and it's all icy out. It's like February when, uh, in the winter, right. and we're slap boxing. And uh, <laughs> and then my dad uh, uh, he starts to get too aggressive, like I'm winning the slap. So he right. closed fist punches me in the mouth, <laughs> mm -hmm. and like uh, like popped me in my fucking lip. And so I'm like, what the fuck? You hit me in the lip. And he's like, oh, I'm sure. And then I fucking popped him in the face. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I gave him a black eye. And then my mom, now my mom's like, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I love and it. Then my, yeah. And my dad's are really fighting. Yeah. And then my dad's like, you son of a bitch. And he's like, wants to fight me. And people have to hold him back and shit. And, uh, <laughs> and, and then. You know, cooler heads prevailed, and we went to bed. <laughs> did they? Well, I was like, when and, and what part they? of the story did they prevail? So, uh, it was, it, so, and then uh, we we go back to our rooms. Whatever, yeah. you know, uh, we were drunk, and and you know how you guys fist fight your dads when you guys get drunk, <laughs> and uh, went back yeah. to our rooms, and yeah. all of a sudden, like I'm I'm going to bed, and mm -hmm. like. 45 minutes later, 30 minutes later, I just I just hear someone... Motherfucker starts wailing on you? No, I just hear someone <laughs> in the hallway going like, Oh, man. Oh, come on. 
Jesus Christ. Was it two people? Oh. Or you just got back no, into the No, this is character? my dad. Yeah, okay. I got back into character. Yeah. And uh, and I open up the door, and it's just my dad slumped in the hallway trying to sleep. Yep. In, a, in the hallway of the yep. hotel. That shit's important. And I go, I go, Dad, what the fuck are you doing? And he goes, your mom won't let me sleep in the room with her. She kicked him out. He was in the doghouse? Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, all right, fucking come in here. And then uh, he sleeps in the room with me. I wake up. He somehow, I, he was wearing clothes when he got into bed. Mm-hmm. And then somehow he had stripped down to just his tidy whities yep. And uh, I woke up to him throwing his leg over me and grabbing me around like, uh, uh, like big spooning me sure and then brings me in close and goes oh, i love you honey i'm sorry baby and i'm like the fuck and he goes That's ah. not my dad. <laughs> i'm like oh my god and then and then it was like oh shit i thought you were petty and i'm like oh i'm not i'm not petty <laughs> Um, cooler yeah, heads damn. prevailed. <laughs> yeah, cooler thanks. heads prevailed. Uh-huh. Thank God, cooler heads prevailed, man. Yeah. So oh like... man, this guy was docking with his dad. <laughs> so then we have a really funny photo of like the next day of like uh, uh, me looking fat headed from all the booze I drank, and my yeah. dad just fully having a black eye, and it's just us <laughs> in the lobby of this shitty hotel, being like, "Yeah, it's okay. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. fine." <laughs> <You're dead. laughs> We're fine. We still love each other. I slept with him last night. I We're slept good. with him last night. <laughs> I cooler curl- heads prevailed. <laughs> cooler-, <laughs> cooler heads once again prevailed. <laughs> oh my god! Damn, you got to stop slapping your dad around, dude. That's fucked up. Yeah, dude, it was. It was a mutual slap around. We'll uh-huh. still do it. It's fun. It's fun to. Bob slap your dad, but it, that thing it's 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 slap boxing. Ironically, that's also how you dance. <laughs> yeah, I do. You know? I do. <laughs> Just yeah. <laughs> Just lots of hands, <laughs> like a wild and never crazy da- guy. <laughs> never dance with Adam. He might hit you. There's a lot of hands yeah, coming. Yeah, dude, at if you. I'm slam dancing with my bros, <laughs> that's what's up, dude. Oh. I'm slam dancing with my bros. <laughs> Let's go. I love it, man. Dude, dude, I holy love, feel moly. that lull. Let it wash over you. <laughs> Sip some tea, everybody. Well, the, well, the thing is, have you guys ever fist fought your fathers? Pour it. Uh, no, I remember by the time my dad was so much stronger than me and Mm. then he was instantly old. Right. You Mm, know, like, like, I remember in college, uh, when I was a strong division one athlete, Mm-hmm. Yes. My dad, you were arm, too. My dad yeah. arm wrestled me with oh, his fuck, pinky. Fucking hot as shit. He just... arm wrestled you with his pinky. Yeah, he has like thick fingers. You, you've held my, you've shook my dad's hands before. <laughs> I've, right? I've held his hand. Yeah, we, held, whenever, right? whenever, <laughs> whenever we see your father, I make sure to to grab <laughs> Phil Holmes' hand <laughs> and just and, uh, and just hold on to it. Yeah, we just take walks holding <laughs> hands. <laughs> He's got like mitts with thick fingers, right? And he just sticks his pinky out, and I, I couldn't. He didn't take me down. But I definitely also right. couldn't take him down. And I was like, what the fuck is <laughs> happening here? Like, I think he just has that, like, um, dad that's strength. The, well, the, dad strength, but also just yeah. there's some people who have that strength. Right. It's just like they got reserves in their muscles where they're mm-hmm. just like, I know I might not be huge, but like, I can lift this anyways. Right. I'm know. a man. Yeah. So I'm scared of dad. him. But wasn't your dad like a big, like, weightlifter? Back in the day, like well, I guess we should just tell everybody. Um, <laughs> my my dad dad's is Andre Arnold the Giant. <laughs> yeah. uh, my dad played football. Um, yeah, he was a football player, but he wasn't like a huge guy. He just uh, uh, has like a big head, big hands. He's like a wide uh, person. He was like a yeah, center. Your dad he was a center. Are huge. He was a college reminds center. Me of I, I'm watching Succession, and your dad reminds me oh, of uh, Brian Cox. The, mm-hmm. the character that not in like how he is <laughs> temperament, uh, all, yeah, sure, temperament wise, big. but just like a big like bulldog of a man, like yeah. a strong big guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can yeah. see that. So you never fist fought him. Yeah, no. And, and uh, did you ever just throw some fucking gloves with Tim? Um, like, well, my Tim dad. Let's talk about let's talk about down. your dad, wrestler extraordinaire. Yeah, <laughs> I'd love to talk about my father. Yeah, he was a he was a wrestler in college and high school. So, but do you would... think right now you could uh, physically dominate your father? <sighs> uh... Should we tell him? 
<laughs> Tim's jacked. Yeah. Tim is yeah. still jacked. I don't know. He's got good wrestling moves, but he's, I don't know. Well, he's kind of, hey. he's broken. He's got like a bad shoulder and like his hands are fucked up. So you would go for the shoulder? Yeah. See, I mean, don't be afraid. I know, I know yeah. he might listen to the podcast. My dad listens to the podcast. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, yeah, he just battled cancer. <laughs> and so I do have that leg up on him, right. but I for sure could beat the shit out of my of my father who uh, just battled cancer right, right now. Yeah, and I feel I'm confident. Now. I feel yeah. confident, and you've got that being able to I, that I could do that. Yes. Yeah, sure. I'll put you know I'll put it on wax. I could beat my dad's ass. You know? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Come at dude, me, bro. <laughs> hey, maybe in the live show. Uh, here, here we, we fight, fight our dads. Yeah, we fight our dads. We bring yeah. our dads out there. We wear boxing gloves. Right, and we can even uh, like handicap. We can wear like a, a forty-five pound like weight <laughs> vest on or something sure. to like handicap us a little bit. Uh, sure, or we wear like heavy gloves. We put like <laughs> my dad. He's he's not he's not eighty, but he's not he's damn near eighty. Right, he's and he's I still 80. feel like if he could, if, if he had if he just got one grip on me, a, a thumb you? his thumb could go like into my flesh. <laughs> You know yeah, what I mean? Man. He's I would still say got your dad is, power. is the scariest one, for sure. Well, He's I got, like, Nordic blood. My my father, uh, <laughs> there's stories of him. He w will not... <laughs> Just going around Omaha? No, uh, no, his friends, because I, I go hunting with a group of my friends and a group of his friends once a year. We uh -huh. haven't done it the last couple of years because of COVID and, mm -hmm. and cancer, yes! but... COVID. Uh, COVID. <laughs> uh, COVID strikes again. But th there's uh, evidently he bit a man's finger off. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, back in the day. Huh. So, Give me the hell yeah. So he bit tough. a man's finger off. So, like, I, you know, I'm, I'm afraid to, if he get, were to get real riled up, something could turn real sideways to where he just, I feel like I would never bite a man's finger That's off. That's like life I don't know about death. that. I feel like you would. You do? Think yeah, I feel it? like yeah. you would yeah. totally bite oh. somebody's finger off. You're you're definitely the guy to bite. And then you would blame oh. them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is your fault. Yeah, you'd be like, "What do you want me to do? Well, you you did the you did that. Well, you started it. Hey, cooler heads." <laughs> Well, if they're putting their fingers like all up in my face, dude, they de they deserve a little yeah. chop chop. Yeah, I don't. Bit. I mean, I think I think you would go for them. I think if they were nearby and you were losing, you'd go for them. Well, it depends. Is this a life or death fight? Every fight is potentially. Like if this is a friendly, no, it's not. The fight with my dad in in that parking lot in front of the the, the local Radisson. He wanted to kill you. What was his fight? <laughs> was his fight life or death? No, his yeah. fight was like guys followed them home from the bar, and like they fought in in. So I don't know, you yeah. know, they were they were, they were like street kids, so there could have been <laughs> knives and fucking sure <laughs> bike chains, yeah, no bike doubt, bike chains, rap, street <laughs> rats, <laughs> a lot of handfuls of dirt. No, but that it would they were like super like my dad had friends that were murdered and shit, you know, yeah. were like what? stabbed to death. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, in uh, in high yeah. school. And he had a friend get stabbed in the hallway and murdered. What? Yeah, man. That's fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. At school? At school. Wow. And that's really insane. So, yeah, it could have been. It could have been <laughs> life or death. I don't know. You know. But that yeah. being said, like, if I'm in a fist fight with... Usually, I've only ever fought my friends. It's always been, like, tempers get a little out of hand. Yeah. And then me and a buddy go at it. But we're not actually... Like, you're just trying to win the fight. You're not trying to physically hurt them to where you, they can't like walk the next day you know what i mean right right, right. yeah uh, do we know what you mean <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know i'm saying no, I, like if i were to fight i know you guys, what you mean yeah, i yeah. wouldn't i wouldn't like if there was an opportunity to break your neck i wouldn't do it <laughs> mm -hmm. but if i'm in a fist fight <laughs> i appreciate and, that and there's yeah, like dude, a guy with a, a fucking blade and he's coming at me and he's like i'm i'm gonna murder you yeah then i'd you, look for the opportunity to break his skull mm -hmm. you, know? you want you're yeah. looking for the excuse to kill a man if he's trying to kill me if i right. think that my life is in danger but if i'm fighting a friend i know my life's not in danger what right. can we talk about this real quick what yeah. is the what is the scenario where you would feel okay having killed someone Feel okay? You, like were you, if they, what if were they like, like you? Where you don't think it would haunt you? Uh, what were they mad uh. rude? <laughs> 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 yeah, like <laughs> like you get seated at a table and they just yeah. don't bring you menus. You fully should get to kill the host. 
Yeah, were they, like, super, <laughs> were they like super rude to you or something? Yeah. Uh, then maybe. Like, no, if, it would need to be like they, if, like, I always think like uh, if I come like Bolt out of bullet? my bedroom <laughs> and there's <laughs> fire, like, oh, fire, <laughs> silver you know, bullets. If I come like out of my bedroom and there's just like a guy in the hallway right. and he has like a knife or a gun or like he's not leaving if I'm leaving and then we fight. I, I, if I end up killing him, I don't want to, but if he's, if I think like he's there to kill me, right. then yeah. I would think I'd be okay with it. Right. I th I'm sure it would, I would have to go to counseling or whatever, but, uh, <laughs> right, right, that's right, right. what would but get you to therapy. <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah. I don't know, maybe not. I might Weird be fine with it. Stuff. Hey, I know yeah, I'm here because uh, I killed I somebody, know. but do you think I should cut back on the caffeine? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Would you guys be okay? I feel like that would be the scenario that I could uh, murder a person. Where if like if your family's in the house and there's just a fucking guy there and you're like, get the fuck out of my house. And he's like, nah. And he comes right. towards you and you're like, oh, fuck. Now I got to fight this guy to the death. I don't think I would ever feel right. great doing it. But yeah, if they're coming from my family and it's do, if they're going to kill your family, you got to do it. But that's actually like a... Well, you don't a, know. I mean, he's not there. He's... You know, a killer doesn't say I'm here to kill you and your family. Right. Sometimes in the movies. Okay. Now, usually they're just like, what? It's fine. And then he subdues you and then he makes he ties you up. He puts a bunch of plates on your back. Right. He rapes and murders your children and right. your wife. Okay. Yeah. And, and then he comes him. and kills you. Yeah. And before right. that happens, you have to fight this man to the death. Absolutely. Well, I actually, it's a it's a YouTube hole I sometimes fall down. It's very intriguing, but you can watch like soldiers who it's like talk about their first time like killing a man, you know, because mm -hmm. that's like a, a time when killing is required of you and yeah. you're not necessarily a killer. Right. But watching these but people the scenario tell the might stories, not even be like one that you might necessarily want to even kill somebody in. Yeah, you know it's just mean? crazy. They're super powerful to watch. It's just like, whoa, man. I it's feel really like that would, that would suck. It, it would it, truly suck to have to just kill somebody on the other team. I yeah. I don't I feel like um suck. the the yeah, the household one is good, but also like if you have an opportunity if someone's like driving through a crowd and right. you have the chance to fucking like shoot them in the face. Right, that, I like that <laughs> one. That's my I, that's you know, my favorite because yeah, you're, you're saving many lives. No, no, for... I see. I like that. I think my favorite is that there's like a gunman of sorts, and I'm in my car, and I can just kind of turn and run him over. Yes, yes, then yes, I yes, think yes. I'm feeling okay. Okay, yeah, that I works too. I think I could do vehicular. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to do oh. the hand to hand combat stuff. I feel no, like no, 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 no. That'd be terrible. Those moments would haunt me, right? Because you really got to get amped up. Whereas, yeah, you got to You got to be like. If there's like a windshield between okay. you, you're like, yeah, right. Uh, all, I was thinking about um, Saving Private Ryan, where dude yes. is on top of him and slowly puts the knife into his chest, and you're yeah, like, that's a great uh, Sandy Hook, I think that was the 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 elementary school, right? The super yeah. sad one. Yeah. Uh, yes. The school shooting. Uh, they were all the, sad, just for the record. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they're all sad, but, but that was really little kids. super li little yeah. kids. It was Very uh, young. horrific. Yeah. Uh, my girlfriend at the time caught me. I was in the bathroom and I just got out of the shower and I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like getting and I'm thinking about it and then I like played the scenario out of my head as if you were uh, a teacher or something. Yeah, as a teacher and right. he comes around the corner and I got him in a chokehold and I'm like and I'm playing this out in front of the mirror and right, she walks right. in on me choking out an air like the air. Right. And she's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I'm like, "Sandy Hook, I'm killing I'm killing the guy." Right. We need Sandy more Hook. we need more you. Yeah. yeah, and man. then and then You're she was here. like, uh, "Okay," <laughs> like she got it. She, yeah, I think she Can knew I me well her? enough. That was like, "All right, yeah, yeah." That all that checks out. You're just uh, choking out this this air terrorist. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they ever catch this Sandy? They caught the guy. He, yeah. Did he kill himself? I don't know shit about anything. I thought it was I a thought little... they caught him. Right. Well, no. Yeah. Remember, because one of the conspiracies <clears throat> is that people claim it wasn't real. It was like all actors. Yeah. Well, fuck those guys. Fuck yeah. Isn't that Crazy. Jesus Christ! Can you imagine think, being one of those parents and they're like, "It wasn't real," and you're like, uh, "I want to." That's yeah. What the fuck? I think they had to sue Homeboy. Yeah, Alex Jones. Yeah, and he had to pay like a ton, tons of money. The only other way 
that I'd feel comfortable murdering someone <laughs> is if my child was murdered during Sandy Hook and then someone yeah. said it was a conspiracy theory. Yeah. Then I would just uh, be like, would go for it. Then I'm like, man, I'm going to murder that guy now, too. Yeah. Would I'll you say, I, him. Him. I got I a theory. Him. Um, and <laughs> fuck him up. Gun, knife, fuck him. nunchucks. Yeah. Nunchucks bare, bare would be hands. a pretty fucking sick ass way to, mm -hmm. to go about it. Size, nunchuck. size. I don't even know if I if I could kill anyone with a nunchuck. That'd be a, that'd be a really hard. You would probably kill yourself on accident. Wow, can you imagine trying to do that, dude? And just I, fucking nunchucking your own face. You ever nunchucked? Uh, it's the hardest thing in the world. You hit yourself so often. Right. I was learning it when uh, uh Kyle and I were gonna do this movie Sex Castle. It's based off of a comic book. Right. And I we were we were going down the path like we had the script and everything. And I started to do fight training and I was doing nunchuck training and mm -hmm. it was hard as fuck, yeah. dude. Did you I start with the plastic difficult. ones with the pads on them? Yeah. I the feel little... like after watching a few uh watching Ninja Turtles a few times where they had the nunchuck battle. Yeah, yeah fellow you chucker. Could, well you yeah. could do yeah. that, you could do that slow. And then just build up speed. Uh, tell you who's okay yeah. at nunchucks is Rebel. Rebel uh, has the basic skills down. Rebel yeah, that Wilson. was her yeah. calling card that when she got to the States. Uh -huh. That's right. She Remember nunchuck. when we cast her, they were specifically like, she wants to nunchuck in a scene. And we're, and like, we're like, yeah, she's a juggalo absolutely. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Done. Yeah. We ca she was in the episode of Workaholics where we go to the juggalo Dark Carnival of the Souls. And she mm -hmm. played the character, I believe, Big Money Hustler was her name. Wow. Maybe. Nice pull. Yeah. yeah, I think so. And uh, yeah, and then and then she wanted a nunchuck, and we were like, "Yeah, uh, yeah. juggalos, I'm sure <laughs> nunchuck also." Yeah, yeah they nunchuck uh, the fuck out of shit. <clears throat> One more name pull from that episode. Uh, Absolutely, the big guy who was beating up Blake or whatever. His uh -huh. Doctor Nedden. His Dr. name was Doctor Nedden, which made me <laughs> laugh so hard because <laughs> Nedden just means pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so his name was to Juggalos. It's like a specific in in Juggalo in Juggalo speak. So his yes. name was yeah. Doctor Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you know, you know. God, oh, I feel like now Juggalos have been so like you know interviewed and and there's so much footage of them and all that. But I definitely saw a new interview where a guy was talking to them and he said something about yeah, workaholics call us walking talking diarrhea people. <laughs> yeah, he said fuck us, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, also so funny. Uh, yeah, very. It's cool funny. that we we broke through broke through their ranks. Yeah, I think we pissed a couple of them off. I remember like there was That's like fine. Blaze or something wanted to like beat our ass or something. Or the guys uh, from Twisted. I don't know. Uh, well, guess what? Was if, out of love. if you kill one of us, <laughs> hey. Adam's coming for you. <laughs> yeah, Dude, oh, he's not. It. Our dads are. Yeah, Dude, you don't I'm want coming. it with. Hey, my do boy. we for the live show uh, fight a bunch of juggalos? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it's a whole gauntlet match. Yeah. We fight our dads, and then the last boss is <laughs> it's a, Shaggy to it's the Doctor. Shaggy to the <laughs> uh, is there any take Violent backs, apologies, uh, giveaways, epic slams today? Or? Yeah, well, uh, you want to take back anything about these juggalos? Look, guys, you, you've got a beautiful culture, um, yeah. but we all know what it is. Debatable. We all know what it is. It is what it is. And <laughs> don't What, is, what don't, is it? I don't we, know what it walking, is. We all know what it is. People. We all know what it is. Uh, and if you guys enjoy it, don't, don't worry about yeah. us. We're, yeah, more power to you. If you yeah. enjoy it, more power uh, to We're you. We're just jealous. And your smelly, weird shit. Yeah, yeah uh, it's family, baby. Yeah, it's family. The great Malenko. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Admittedly, doing research for that episode, I now know way too many. Uh, well, one. One. I know one. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> wait, no, two. Because no, then they I, did one oh. on SNL where they spoofed. Homies, uh, homies. Well, that's a jam. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, but the, yeah, like, that's that's a the no, magnets. I take it back. They, how do they work? The magnets. Uh, how do they work? Song. Yeah. Oh yeah. They yeah. do a lot of really cool stuff over there in, in Juggalo Nation. By the way, that is the perfect example of a song where you're like, who fucking thinks Sandy Hook was fake? People who listened to that Magnets How Do They Work song and go, yeah. man, yeah. Wait, good wait. points go yeah, all around. <laughs> uh. Yeah, wait a second. Yeah, everything is fake. I don't believe anything. I mean, that being the said, they got, a, they got a thing yeah. going. They shouldn't. Don't don't worry about us judging you. You, you guys, you got a family. You're doing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. You call so. each other ninjas. We all know what that's replacing. <laughs> it's weird. 
but you're doing it. You're doing your own thing. You're doing your very own thing. Yeah. Um, and, and we said, and you know, Durs wants to give you flowers. I don't. I think you're walking, talking <laughs> diarrhea people. Uh-huh. But uh, Durs wants to give you flowers. How did it? Well, hey, this is how. Remember how Adam's like, I'm gonna die first. Now he's like solidifying <laughs> yeah. it. He's like making sure it happens. You know they're a happens. gang, dude. They're wanted by the FBI. Oh, nah, they're cool. On. They're a family. They're cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they they know they're walking, talking diarrhea people. It's fine. They, Do you they, think they, they run around it. shouting "Fago" instead of "Let's go"? <laughs> Oh, oh damn, well, wait, admittedly, oh, I'd like that a lot more. <laughs> yeah, I would exciting. like that a lot more. Hey, but Durs, points, brother. Someday we're yes, gonna get points. this. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you guys, that was another episode of this, this is, is important. important.